the formidable robot. On June 20th of 1992, the tape containing the sequel to the Haunted Mansion incident was shown to a group of police officers of California. Containing in the tapes were problems from the mansion that caused what people dubbed, the Mansion Collapse of 92. It was stated that on July 20th, 1991, which was the date of the tape, the Haunted Mansion experienced a collapse due to rotting wood from the mansion's structures, causing some of the mansion's functions to malfunction and collapse under pressure. It was reported that the video was CCTV footage recorded inside the Haunted Mansion from the tech room. Gonzalez Rodrigo and Peter Terrence were the two workers that worked on the CCTVs of the Haunted Mansion along with five other workers that helped repair the mansion during tech errors. The tape again, had the same problem as the first tape, containing heavy amounts of mildew and tape rot which meant, heavy cutting and stitching the tape together and repairing it. Upon watching the tape, it started at a new day of the mansion, with cameras cutting to the stretching room, also known as the elevator. Inside, the narrator's dialogue was suddenly morphed. What does that mean? According to Peter Terrence, it means that the dialogue's words were mixed, not entirely the words mixed but the sentences. In the ride, instead of the Foolish Mortals intro, the narrator said, Foolish, haunted, ghost, paintings, out way. <laughs> Some audible chuckling was heard. The thunderclap, scream, and crash from the ride was heard. But when the crash was heard, a tree branch suddenly slammed into one of the mirrors, causing an audibly yet painfully loud clatter sound. People were heard audibly screaming, and some yelped. The camera immediately cuts to the graveyard yet again. This time, the grim grinning ghost's song was replaced entirely. The lyrics were all wrong, some deemed it disturbing. The singing busts sang these lyrics. In the blade of the requiem knife. Ghouls and ghosts cut through the peace of life. Rest in peace, in their lives. So grab your knife, cut yourself. Be afraid for your demise. Suddenly, all of the singing busts fell over, one of them smashing in pieces. Ironically, the bust was Walt Disney's. The thunder was heard, but it sounded way more louder than before, almost distorted. Then, something odd happened. At Doom Buggy number 24, the people suddenly vanished, with the scream of the Pop Pop Ghost heard, followed by a cut off. The tape ended with the ending bit with little Leona saying the same phrase. The tape ended with audible static and the infamous color bars. Some people reported hearing a number station which was the following. 1-0-1-9-1-9-9-1 To some people, it didn't seem much. But to others, it's horrifying. October 10, 1991. A 15-year-old girl suffered critically injured after she fell onto the ride's tracks. According to witnesses, she was jumping from car to car and fell onto the track, where she was dragged under a moving car for at least 50 feet before the ride stopped. That event was the most disturbing, and the most unsettling to the 11 Disney workers after watching the tapes. Four of the workers suffered PTSD, depression, anxiety, and psychosis. Five others reported jumping off of buildings and cliffs, and two were reported missing. To this day, the two workers were reported dead, the four workers that suffered the conditions rather killed themselves, or remained mentally scarred and the five remained dead, with their bones used in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Update. On January 20, 2009, two of the staff members of the Haunted Mansion found the holiday variant, Haunted Mansion Holiday, with the tape being on beta max. They haven't reviewed the footage yet, but the tape is reported to be shipped off to archivists and Disney workers to recover the footage.